for years and we're glad you're back here again. We're looking overhead at a beautiful blue sky and right in the middle, almost directly overhead, is the short sky band. Aboard that short sky band are members of the United States Army Special Operations Command Parachute Team, the Black Daggers. We've got jumpers away. You can see the smoke as they accelerate to 120 miles per hour terminal velocity. Coming down right now, we have four jumpers who will split apart momentarily. Two jumpers already open, three jumpers already open, and two more jumpers. Chris Wilkerson, Nick Betty, Zach Kleinenstein, Mike Lopez, Tony Holmes, those five jumpers all in the air flying the black and red canopies of the Black Daggers. This is a traditional air show opening. And during this time period, we're going to be bringing in the POW MIA flag. We will also be singing O Canada to honor our friends, the Canadian Royal Canadian Air Force Snowbirds, and our national anthem. And it'll be sung today by Natalie Moreland, who's 19 years old. She's daughter to Senior Chief Pasquale Moreland, who is currently stationed here at N down at NAS Pensacola. She's been singing the national anthem at the air show for six years, and the Beach Blast for five years. And she is almost about ready to graduate from college. Pretty cool stuff. The POWMIA flag that is coming in, of course, is to remember those who that remained behind that were captured as prisoners of war or were listed as missing in action. To each of them, we owe an unending debt of gratitude for the sacrifice they made, the pain they endured, and the hardships they suffered to ensure that the flame of freedom will never be extinguished. On September 21st, just two days ago, the National Prisoner of War Day was celebrated and recognized. And the flag you will see in the sky, you can see it right now, is a symbol of those brave Americans that were held captive or listed as missing in action. And as that flag comes down, we remember that those that were brave Americans that were held captive or listed as missing in action. Every single day, each one of us is cognizant of the service and sacrifice of our POWs and those missing in action, some of us more than others. But the 21st, of September was the day designated for all of us to gather and openly remember and pay tribute to these patriots. More than 83,000 brave Americans still unaccounted for. We should be proud that our nation has not forgotten them and that we will go to every length to find them and bring them home. Now, as the POW MIA flag comes down, I would ask that you will stop wherever you are within the sound of my voice. Please stand and remove your caps as Natalie Moreland sings O Canada and our national anthem.
Now, ladies and gentlemen, as the POW MIA flag is being brought in by the Black Daggers, please remain standing for our national anthem. Oh. September 12th of 1814 that a prisoner exchange was taking place during the War of 1812, a war many consider, consider to be our second war of independence. And an attorney from Baltimore, Maryland was on a British ship arranging for that prisoner exchange and he watched the 24-hour shelling of Fort McHenry when some 1,500 bombs and rockets and mortars were fired at Fort McHenry, yet the next morning, a 40 by 60 foot flag flew over the fort, indicating they had survived the attack. And it inspired that attorney, who was also an amateur poet, to write the words that became our national anthem. His name is Francis Scott Key, and he wrote that poem called In Defense of Fort McHenry. Ladies and gentlemen, a big round of applause, if you will, for the United States Army Special Operations Command, the Black Daggers bringing in the American flag and the POW flag. <laughs> <laughs> 